So good evening, happy Saturday evening. It is a happy Saturday because Arsenal haven't played yet. Uh, we play on Monday nights away. Oh, we don't like away days. We're away to Liverpool, the current champions, the uh, the best team in the league. And we're at Anfield, a place that we haven't won for eight seasons. Uh, I think the last time we won there, I think it was Van Persie scored the winner. That is how long ago it was, uh, Robin Van Persie scoring. Uh, but we are playing Liverpool twice next week. I will be doing a watch-along for both games. I am actually going to do a watch-along tomorrow for the Man City Leicester game as well. So make sure you are fully subscribed. Make sure you are hitting like on the video. Thumb it up. Thumbs up. And um, hopefully you're enjoying the content. I've put a lot out recently. It's been relentless. Um, football is back again. The Premier League is back again. And I'll very quickly, before I get into this video, I want to divert your attention. Firstly, it's my Instagram, League Gunner 82. Um, do go and follow that. We're nearly on 13,000, so thank you. Uh, Facebook as well. Facebook link is in the description. But I also want to divert your attention to bottom corner. Dennis Burkamp signed, framed T-shirt. One lucky person is going to win that shirt on Monday night after the Liverpool-Arsenal game. Um, to qualify and be in with a chance, download the Flick app. It is in the description of this video. Um, it's free. It's down there. It's free. Once you've done that, scroll down the timeline to the Burkamp t-shirt giveaway. Once you click on the Burkamp t-shirt giveaway, bottom right of the app, you'll see some little funky character. Click on it. Put two emotes in the chat and you are fully qualified. Uh, plenty of giveaways this season as well. So big up the guys at Flick. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, but let's get straight into talking about Lucas Torreira first. And um, as you can see on the screen right there, Torino Sporting Director Vagnati confirms that Arsenal are not accepting to loan out Lucas Torreira at the moment. Torreira is a top player, but his price is too high. It's difficult to sign him from Arsenal, not just for us, also, Atleti wants him on loan. Um, Arsenal, according to Fabrizio, tier one journalist, messy of transfer news, um, says that Arsenal are only looking to get cash money in the building. And um, that could be a sticking point. It could also be a great move for Arsenal because let's be real here. We want to sign Thomas Partey, according to everybody in the media. So if we do actually sign Thomas Partey, it could be where we go, yo, you have Lucas Torreira, you give us a loan fee with an obligation, not an option, an obligation to buy the guy. If that obligation is around 20 million euros, that equates to what, 18 million pounds? Let's assume that they pay three, four million um, as a loan fee. We're going to get around 20 million. Uh, Thomas Party obviously costs around 44, 43 million, roughly, depending on exchange rate. Uh, but Maybe, just maybe, Lucas Torreira to Atleti is not as dumb as people think it may be. And um, it may not be included in the Thomas Party deal if we was to get that done. Um, but let's be honest here as well. They're not going to pay up front for Lucas Torreira, even if they did a deal where it was an obligation to buy the guy because they're skin. Yeah, every deal that they do, I think 75% of the money that they get back for their players go straight to the government because they furloughed their staff or the Spanish equivalent. Um, they're in massive debt because of their new stadium and they have to sell. Uh, Hector Herrera is a player that they're looking to sell and they're looking to sell other players along the way as well. So listen, Lucas Torreira, it could be a good thing or it could be a bad thing. We've seen Torreira for what, five weeks now, be linked to Fiorentina, Lazio, Napoli, Torino, uh, all on loan. Some have said, said that he's going to get a fee, blah, blah, blah. Atleti have now come out of nowhere. If we end up getting rid of Torreira to Atleti without an obligation to buy him, and then we end up not getting Thomas Party, whoever brokered that deal, leave. See ya. Uh, but I'd love to know your thoughts on that particular deal. And listen, we have actually got about eight days left of this transfer window, and it's just it's boring now. Just please finish. Please, please, please finish. Um, so let's move on to Husimawa. 
Uh, there is breaking news on Hussein Mawa. I'm going to read these tweets from uh, Fabrizio first before I move on to the next person um, that's tweeted about this. Uh, now, obviously, yesterday, Awa is the first Arsenal target, no doubt, because Atleti are convinced to keep Thomas Partey, as reported yesterday. Personal terms with Awa are not an issue. Firstly, he never confirmed that we've agreed personal terms, which I found like, OK, a lot of people are saying we've agreed personal terms with him. We clearly haven't, but they wouldn't be an issue, as I said yesterday. Um, AFC would offer a contract until 2025. Hussein would like to join. We've known that for a long time, but there is still no agreement with Olympic Lyonnais and the 60 million price tag. Um, he then continues on uh, five hours ago, as I recalled this at uh, 25 past 10 at night, my time. Uh, these sentences today by President Ulas confirm the situation about Awa. Now, I did a stream today about this. Uh, we showed uh, their president's actual tweet. Um, he is the first target. Awa would like to join Arsenal. Personal terms are not an issue. Again, he confirms that personal terms have not been agreed, but they're not an issue, which we all know. Listen, Olympic Lyonnais and a are not going to pay him what we could pay him. Um, regardless of pandemic, no fans at the ground, um, unethical, sacking 55 people, we can overpay compared to Olympic Lyonnais. Uh, we have no agreement with them at the moment. The deal is on, but Ulas wants 60 million euros. Okay, cool. Uh, we've known that for the whole transfer window. So let's move on. This guy, um, I don't know how credible this guy is, but I do see him pop up on my timeline quite a lot. Um, and he today um, has said, there we go. Arsenal's 36 million euro bid for Hussein Awar has been rejected. Arsenal's new offer of 38 million, which they will make imminently. So we haven't actually made that bid yet, but he expects us to make it. We'll also be turned down. Olympic Lyonnais now apparently only want 50 million, not 60 million. Awar has also not agreed personal terms. So again, a second source confirming no personal terms are agreed. The fee completely is 10 million euros less than, um, than was first reported. But listen, this is driving me nuts, man. Seriously, um, it's doing my nothing. I can't lie. Yeah, this has just gone on and on and on. And it's like, do you know what? If you really wanted him, if you really backed Mikel Arteta, um, you'd pay the money. I see a lot of people say to me, yo, Lee, Unai Emery was backed. He was backed, man. He spent loads of money. He was backed. Okay, cool. Leno in goal, Emmy Martinez. We have the debate. 50-50 split, in my opinion. Um, Genduzzi, we want to get rid of. Socrates, we want to get rid of. Lucas Torreira, we want to get rid of. Case in point, Unai Emery wasn't backed. It's kind of looking right now like Mikel Arteta's not being backed. So... What do we do? We've got eight days left of the window. There's not going to be any movement tomorrow, as far as I'm concerned. They might be, they might not, but it's a Sunday. It's a day of rest. Uh, and then we've got seven days. We need to get players out of this football club real quick. And listen, I do think at the end of the window, this guy will be an Arsenal player. I genuinely do believe that. Um, and the more I believe that he will be an Arsenal player, the less I believe that Thomas Partey will. And like I said yesterday, and previous times, I do think Thomas Partey um, should be the main focus of this football club. We need somebody that's going to be uh, an enforcer, a guy that's defensively so astute. It is unbelievable. He's been coached by one of the best off-the-ball defensive coaches, if not the best on the planet, Don Simeone. And um, we shall see. It's going to be a very interesting seven or eight days. But I'll tell you one thing I do know. This transfer window has bored the shit out of me. I've seen every other team go out there and sign players. And every day I wake up and I think, today's the day. Today's not the day. Um, all have a wonderful, superb, spunking Saturday evening. And uh, I'll be back tomorrow. I will be doing a watch along. Like I said, Man City, Leicester settings. Come check that out. And uh, I will be dropping my preview tomorrow. So I will be putting up the um, the 
um, starting 11 polls. So make sure you get your team in. Make sure you select that. Make sure you sign up for the Burkham competition. Two emotes in the chat. All have a wonderful evening. All have a wonderful weekend. I'm out of here, people. Later.